here uh, i will be discussing on the marks versus percentile for all four shift i will compare and also provide you the important chapter that is the important chapter from which they are asking the question again and again in this four shift of exam in the second attempt of je and that will give you the uh, idea what you should prepare for the upcoming shift whose exam particularly on 11th or 12th 13th 15th you will get the idea actually uh, day by day they are increasing the difficulty a little bit just little bit but all the uh, dropper students are finding it easy but 90% or 80% you can say the student are from board students so they are finding it difficult because they haven't uh, prepared for the examination because they were preparing for board exam uh, i would like to inform you that like the jm in january attempt last year previous year that is 2020 2021 every year my prediction was 100% correct almost so this year also in the january attempt you can check the video but here what you are going to get is you will be getting better percentile at less marks also because of the fact that most of the student are not prepared even the syllabus is easy suppose uh, 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 even the question is easy suppose if a student covered only 20% of the syllabus if there is very easy question from all 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 part of the syllabus whether he will able to get 300 out of 300 no even 200 they uh, he can't get because he can get only 20% of the marks because that is 60 marks so that that will decide the marks versus percentile you have to an analyze it uh, in detail by considering every fact then only you can uh, predict the right marks versus percentile data it is not like conventional you can go every time but if the, if the paper is easy every student will score more marks because here the preparation is less i will write all the data here and thereafter i will discuss the important chapter subject wise what they have asked in the for first four shift of the examination and also i will discuss the minimum marks category wise for all the same okay now comes to 99 up to 99.4 i have written you can check the data that is for 99.9 99.8 99.6 99.4 i am giving a complete exact range of marks that you need to have to get those percentile for 6 shift 1 for 6 shift 2 second column third column is for 8 shift 1 fourth is for 8 shift 2 now coming to 99 percentile this is a very important data most of the student are looking for this data so let me write this data as well 110 to 212 for 6 shift 1 210 210 to 209 for shift 2 204 to 206 202 to 204 now coming to 90 the biggest barrier of a student everyone wants to cross the 90 percentile barrier so here is the 90 90 to 92 marks is enough in 6 shift 1 And now, eighty-eight to ninety, four shift two, and eight shift one. It will be around eighty-five to eighty-seven, and uh, eighty-four to eighty-six for eight shift two. Now coming to eighty-five, seventy-five to seventy-seven, seventy-three to seventy-five marks. Now come to eighty percentile. 63 to 65, 62 to 63, 62 to 62. Done. Now coming to 50, 28 to 29, and then done. This is uh, what the marks versus percentile is for all the four shift that has been done up to now. I have done a clear comparison between all the shift. here you can check the data you can take the screenshot as well if you want let's come to the cut off now percentile you also know will remain same for all the uh, shift but uh, marks will change i'm repeating it again because many people ask what will be the percentile for my shift cut off will remain same it depends on the type of type of paper that is how much marks you need to have So around percentile will be around eighty nine. You can say hardly ninety it will go, but eighty nine you can say for the general because every year they increase the number of 
a student also what they take for the GE advance and uh, you also know 42 percent of student are from general so it will be around 1 lakh 1000 1 lakh 10,000 who will be getting selected for the J advanced so, so the student who got more than 89 percentile that should be 1 lakh 1000 from general only I'm talking about not all students so 6 shift 1 if you ask then uh, it will be around 90 marks early there is 88 87 to 89 to be precise this is for general now I will write for the OBC for OBC the percentile will be around 67 it can be 67.5 66.5 also possible okay so this was about the uh, EWS cutoff percentile and the marks for each shift 6 shift 1 6 shift 2 8 shift 1 8 shift 2 okay Yuvraj I will be there to guide you for SC it will be around 45 percentile it can be 1 percentile more or less but it will be around 45 percentile 26 to 28 then uh, 25 to 27 24 to 26 and 23 to 25 this is for SC now coming to ST URAS for ST it will be around 27 percentile hardly 28 number will go up to 29 it is 27 percentile and uh, for that around 15 to 17 marks is required here again 15 to 16 14 to 15 again 14 to 15 done this is the cutoff now coming to PWD there is only 0 0.001 percentile word 1 percentile so now you can think how much marks you need to have just need to reach the center just need to reach the Center. Now coming to the important topic whatever has been asked by NT up to now. Okay. In physics, modern physics is always the highest weightage, particularly in J means alternating current and EMI, also from current electricity. There was question from heat thermodynamics as well. and uh, gravitation also very important in a small chapter unit and dimension very underrated chapter so these are the chapter from where they are asking very easy questions so if you have completed the chapter try to brush it again and again try to revise it again and again now coming to chemistry environmental chemistry and chemistry in everyday life that is the last chapter of class 11 and 12 one question will be there try to read these two chapter just from ncrt then s p -E d f now next is chemical bonding periodic table there was right question and uh, solid state chemical kinetics coordination compound surface chemistry as well so these are the chapter i am getting the con providing you the conclusion from which they are asking the easy and, uh, and uh, most number of questions obviously they will ask the question partly from organic chemistry but that is tough you can't prepare in one or two days but these chapters are easy you can read in one or two days just from ncrt now coming to mathematics mathematical reasoning
probability b and c as well sets relation and function also the sequence and series matrices and determinant next is vector 3d vector and 3d that's it